When we talk about deadly animals around the world, how often do snails come to mind? Crazy, right? But did you know that snails alone are responsible for 200,000 deaths every year? That is more than any other animal in the world. Freshwater snails are considered the deadliest species, so if you've ever come across one, it's best to keep your distance. By now, you might be wondering how this tiny creature can kill 200,000 people every year and get away with it. Let's find out. But before we start, make sure you watch the video until the end. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos. Now, let's get started. Freshwater snails are found in a variety of habitats. They can be found in small ponds to giant lakes and even in rivers. These creatures usually mind their own business, eating algae and other suspended matter in the water. But they are also responsible for transmissions of the disease schistosomiasis. So far, this disease has been reported in 78 countries and in most cases, it was found that the host entered the infected water. This disease is primarily found in Asia, Africa, and South America, but due to the severity of the condition, these snails are identified as the deadliest creatures in the world. These snails may not even know that they're being criticized for transmitting this disease. A parasite lives within their bodies, and when they lay their eggs, they release the larva form of this parasite into the water. When a person spends a long time in the parasitic waters, the larvae penetrate the skin of the host. The larvae are so small that they enter the bloodstream and develop into schistosomiasis. Some of these parasites get trapped in human flesh tissues where they complete their life cycle. Eggs can become lodged in different body tissues, causing severe symptoms ranging from anemia and fatigue. In about 10% of chronic cases, death will occur. The initial symptoms include rashes on the infected area or severe itching, commonly referred to as swimmer's itch. Other symptoms include abdominal pain, diarrhea, and blood in stool depending on the type of parasite. Blood in the urine is the most common sign of infection. And suppose the host is not treated in a timely manner. In that case, bladder cancer may eventually develop. In children with repeated infections, they can develop anemia, malnutrition, and learning disabilities. Prazequantel is the drug primarily used for treating this disease. But that is sometimes not enough to control the pain and infection in the body. Authorities focus on safety protocols, including increasing sanitation practices in the affected areas. Other researchers suggest that releasing natural predators to these snails in the area can control the snail population and minimize the number of casualties. Similar to these is another kind of deadly snail. This is the cone snail, which have over 900 different species. Their smooth outer shell is easily recognizable, and they contain several toxins that have a range of effects on the human body. Some are said to be extremely toxic, with over 650 kinds of toxins present in them. They have substantial mouth openings, and surprisingly, no two species create the same kind of venom. The cone snail uses a modified tooth loaded with venom as a harpoon against its victim. Once the snail shoots its harpoon, the target is almost instantly paralyzed. Then it retracts the tooth, bringing the prey into its mouth. The venom hurts as much as a bee sting, and a person can experience intense pain, swelling, numbness, and vomiting. The larger cone snail species are so dangerous to humans, their stings can cause paralysis, changes in vision, respiratory failure, and death. So if you find a conch or a shell on the beach, it is best not to handle it. Oh, and don't even think about bringing it to your ear to hear the ocean sounds. And there it is guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And always be sure to stay safe outdoors. I'll see you at the next one.